So we both teach in multilingual contexts. Um, our classes, we have many different nationalities. Um, so our students represent a particular use of English. Um, that's to say that English is not their first language, and they do not all share a first language. Um, English is the communicative medium of choice and often the only option for our students. Um, so that's to say that we, well, we often talk about EFL, English as a foreign language, but in our context, if you have a German student speaking to a Japanese student, but who is the foreigner in that context? Um, so when English is being used as a contact language in this way, um, this is actually the most prevalent use of English in the world today. Um, Non-native speakers vastly outnumber native speakers, um, and increasingly few interactions actually involve native speakers nowadays anyway. Um, people teaching here in London, um, you may well have multilingual classes, and this may ring true for you. Um, and it may be easier to observe this phenomenon if you have multilingual classes. Um, if you're joining us online, it may be, well be that you have a monolingual class. Um, and in this use of English may not be so immediately clear to you. Um, but just because you don't see your students using English as a lingua franca in your classroom, it's not to say that this isn't actually how they use English perhaps in their work. Um, and even if they don't use English in this way now, perhaps they will in the future, and that's what the numbers show, is that they will be doing so. The, if the assumption has always been that we wanted our students to interact with native speakers, or we assumed they were going to interact with native speakers, but if we're challenging that now, then this presents some interesting new challenges for us as teachers. Um, and pronunciation is the main factor in that. Um, Jennifer Jenkins is an important name in this area, and some of you may be familiar with her name. Um, and she did research into what causes communication breakdown, and she took um, examples of communication breakdown in her classroom and looked at what was behind that. And pronunciation was the big of, biggest factor as compared to the grammar, vocabulary. Pronunciation was the biggest cause of breakdown of communication. So we'll be looking at pronunciation today, um, and we'll be looking at ideas from our classroom. These are practical ideas. We're both teachers, and these are ideas that we've used and tried and tested, and we hope that you can take something for your classroom.